kids. Today I'm going to share with you one short tale from Jadaka Tales. So Jadaka Tales are a collection of short short stories from the previous life of Buddha in both human and animal form. So today I'll be sharing with you one story from animal animal form when Bodhisattva was once born as a deer with eyes round like jam and and the horns like silver and he was much more bigger in size than all the other rest of deers. He also had it a 500 bands of deer and he was called Nigroda Raja. So in Varanasi. So the king of Varanasi was very fond of eating the meat of deer. So he summoned his men to come with the deer every day and he would eat one deer a day. So one day in order to please their king, the king's men gathered all the deers from the forest and presented it to the king, them to the king. The king seeing all the deer and was very charmed by the beauty of two kings, Negroda Raj and Saka. Saka was another king, another king deer who's also leading 500 bands of deer in the same forest. So, seeing both the beautiful deer, the king told his men that both the both the beautiful deer who are Negroda deer and Saka deer should be free from getting killed because they are really beautiful. So they have this special privilege that they will, they will not be killed as the other deer. So but then as later as the time continues and the hunter continues back to hunting deers from the forest, hunting deer from the forest, a lot of mess has been created where the most of the deer would run for shelter here and there creating a lot of mess so the both the king both the king deer negroda deer and saka decided to come together and talk about what should be done in order to ease the situations so they have both agreed that one deer from each of the team under negroda and saka will be taken for the king for him for his as his food one by one one by one each day turn by turn so one day when it was the turn of a mother pregnant deer she has requested who was under the saka deer she's requested the saka deer if she could if he could postpone her call for the death because she was all, already pregnant and she did not want it to her baby deer in the womb to get killed before the baby was even born so the but the saka didn't listen and just ignored her the pregnant mother again went to the negroda raja and told all her problems negroda raj concerned of it and felt really sorry for this and he immediately went himself to the kim Jong kingdom saying i want to get killed instead of the pregnant mother getting killed the king man seeing him in the palace ready to getting ready to be getting killed again went to the king and said that Negroda Raj was ready to get killed in place of another common deer. The king, concerned of all these things, asked Negroda Raj, why is he in the kingdom? Negroda Raj said, it was actually the turn of a mother, mother pregnant deer who were mother pregnant deer, but then he said that I don't want two lives to get killed at one time. So it is my life, if I get killed, it will be only one life so he said that i sacrificed myself for the both of the baby and the pregnant mother king again jumped by the generous and compassionate heart of negroda raj said that i am going to spare both the lives of your both the lives of yours and then the pregnant mother happy with the news negroda raj said i thank you for these news but then sir please what will happen to the other deers in your kingdom so again said I will spare all the other deers in my kingdom, waiting for waiting to be killed. Negroda Raj again asked the sir, So what about the other four-footed animals in the forest? He said, I will spare the lives of all these animals. Happy and confused, he also asked the sir, So what was with the birds, the fishes, and all the rest of animals in the forest? He again said that, Oh my dear king, I shall spare the life of all the animals in the forest. Happy and happy and elated with all this news and what he has just heard, Negroda 
the compassionate and generous heart of Negroda has just saved the whole the lives of animal kingdom. So that is the story I wanted to share with you all. Thank you all and see you next time. This is the story of Negroda Rashtia.